Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two devices around the 25,000 price segment. We have the newly launched OnePlus Nord CE5 and we also have the Poco X7 launched somewhere six months back. So these are two devices with the Dimensity 8000 series chip. We have the Dimensity 8350 on uh, this device. So let's just go to here, 8350 Apex. And here we have uh, the Dimensity 8400 Ultra chip. So let's just go to the detail specs. So 8400 Ultra versus 8350 uh, Apex. So these are two really powerful devices in this price segment. Now we have Android 15 on these two devices and also Oxygen OS 15 on the Nord CE5 while this is uh, Hyper OS uh, uh, 2.0. So that's the differentiating aspect. Now both are uh, pretty good in terms of hardware, LPDDR5, x RAM. This is UFS 3.1 while this is UFS 4.0. So that uh, differentiation is also there. So let's see how the experience Experiences, uh, how the optimization is on these two devices. So let's just clear off all the background apps. So there you go. We just cleared off all the background apps. And uh, let's see the network settings as well. So you can see here, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. There you go. And both are in airplane mode. And both have the performance mode turned on. So you can see here performance mode is turned on on both the devices. Game mode is also available. So just clearing off the background apps. Let's start with Asphalt Unite. So Poco has uh, opened it faster. So Poco is uh, definitely faster here. Now BGMI. Once again Poco has taken the lead. Once again Poco has loaded the game much faster. So there you go. Now both the games are faster on Poco. Let's see other apps. Play Store. Here it was faster on CE5. So we'll just keep this. Facebook. Probably almost same time. Twitter. Poco was faster. Instagram, uh, CE5 is faster, Spotify, again Poco is faster, Amazon, CE5 is faster, Flipkart, probably almost same time, not much of a difference, File Manager obviously uh, CE5 because Poco's File Manager takes a lot of time, Settings, once again CE5, YouTube, CE5 was slightly faster, probably same time, camera, Poco was faster and maps. Once again, Poco is faster. So you could see here, uh, both the devices are pretty good, but in terms of games, uh, you could see that Poco X7 Pro with uh, the uh, 8400 Ultimate chip, uh, which is a more powerful chip than the A350 Apex. So you can see that. But otherwise, uh, apps both did have a pretty good experience. Again, uh, some of the apps are faster on the CE5, some were faster on the Poco X7 Pro. Now let's see the memory management of these two devices. So let's see uh, which all apps are retained in the memory and let's see which all are removed. So as so of now you can see here now both have reloaded our flip card. Amazon once again both have reloaded it. Spotify is available on Poco while it has been reloaded on the Nord C5. Now this is available on uh, C5 while it has been reloaded on the Poco. Twitter is available here while reloaded on the Poco. Facebook available on both. Chrome reloaded on C5. Play Store, then uh, Games. Games uh, surprisingly available on both the devices. 
and finally asphalt unite now asphalt unite is available on poco while it has been reloaded on the nord c5 so memory management is in the strength of either of these devices so it is not really optimized for good memory management both uh, of the devices reloaded a lot of uh, apps uh, from the memory so memory management is in the strength of either of these devices so next uh, let's see the network uh, speed of these two devices so let's see uh, how they perform in terms of uh, so there you go, we just connected both the devices to the same server. Let's start with the CE5. So you can see a more or less similar, not much of difference. Now this raw synthetic benchmark scores. So here you can see the obviously 13 lakh or rather 14 lakh uh, uh, closer to 14 lakh here while this is more than 15 lakh 15.6 lakh so definitely uh, the poco x7 pro is uh, better here in terms of uh, synthetic benchmark uh, almost all the scores are higher on the poco x7 pro because the dimensity 8400 ultra is definitely a great chip uh, in this price segment now finally the storage test uh, so uh, we'll just uh, see the storage just ufs 4.0 1 lakh 92000 but uh, ufs 3.1 is performing quite well actually on uh, the Nord CE5 uh, so 1,53,000 versus 1,92,000 now finally the uh, Geekbench test uh, so once again here you would see that synthetic benchmark scores are uh, better on uh, uh, the POCO X7 Pro 1586 versus uh, 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 1304 and 3937 versus 6057 so that is the speed test comparison of these two devices. So which of these devices will you pick? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.